what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back i'm ready to jump in like like right now i'm ready to jump in okay attack on titan is just on a on another level right now uh, um so if you're watching this and you're wondering why i'm not streaming it's because i don't know if i re-aggravated my back by whatever but i've canceled the streams for this weekend um, and I'll take my time and recuperate. Hopefully we can be back to streaming back this weekend. But anyways, let's talk about Attack on Titan, man. Attack on Titan. We're here with episode 13 of the 16, I think we're supposed to get. So, last episode was one of those. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Finding out a lot, you know, with the Jaeger bomb and... <laughs> The Jaeger bomb. <laughs> the reason why I call it the Jaeger bomb. We got the Jaegerist now, you know, versus the regular people, I guess, you know, and everybody is rooting for Aaron, man. Like, I don't know whose side to take, but that's the beauty of the show, you know. And then at the end of the episode, I think that was um, Sasha's family walking in with Falco and Gabby to go see. Niccolo, I think. It looks like that. I mean, it wasn't... I don't know. It seems like it because that's where they... He got the invite, right? To come eat or whatever. So, that was pretty cool, man. Um, the I heard people were upset about that, the, um, the jacket flap. Aaron putting on his jacket wasn't done right. I'm like... How do you know how right it is? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you know how right it is? It's the first time it's being animated. Even if you're going to say it doesn't look like what it's supposed to look like from the trailer. I'm like, bruh, stop. It, 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 the things that you, I didn't know. I did not know that Attack on Titan fans were this toxic. Like, the stuff that I see trending on Twitter about Attack on Titan since we've been watching season four and the thing about it is that most of the people that are complaining about certain things there are people who are like way ahead reading in the manga it's not people who are actually just anime purists who are enjoying the show for what it is right now you know even though i have my qualms with the anime i think uh, one of the things that i wanted to talk about was a lot of the exposition that's why i'm going back to watching and hopefully i don't spoil myself with anything by reading too far you get what i'm saying as soon as i see certain things of where the episode ends, i stop reading the manga but there is so much dialogue that is being left out in the anime um i don't know why or maybe they just feel like a lot of that stuff is was not necessary I don't know what it is, but for me, it laid down a lot of context. Conversation between Pixis and and, and Yelena. Um, uh, conversation between Akompopo. Uh, <laughs> I cannot pronounce that dude's name. Okay, black dude. Conversation with with Hanji is a lot more understandable um, from the manga perspective, in my opinion. Um, that's just me at right? the conversation they were having. Um, what else was it? I don't, I don't remember, but, um, for the most part, even the part where they showed, they showed how Aaron escaped. Why did they leave that out of, in the anime? Like, you don't think that we would want to see that? Like that was kind of nuts to me that they left that out. Um, so um so in, in terms of certain things that's that doesn't say that i'm in you know at the very least you know what i'm saying that's not taking anything away from what um mappa is doing they're doing an incredible job in my opinion overall they're gonna make mistakes some things are gonna look janky they're gonna use cgi we know this okay let's jump into the episode i will see you guys for the review Alright, episode 13 is in the books. Wow, wow, and wow. 
and let me stop this by saying this first i know i don't have all my lights on right now stop stop complaining <laughs> okay my mind is complaining okay you know what i mean but really and truly what i want to talk about right now is just to give props to mapa they're definitely mapa the studio um pairing with the voice actors they did uh, an incredible job in that that scene with Niccolo, Gabby, Falco, the Bras family, um, just absolutely incredible scene that was done there. It, it, it pulls you in, man. It pulls you into so much. I don't want to talk too much about what I already talked about during the episode, but I definitely have to give um, pause to um, to just be able to witness something like that an art form you know what i'm saying just done right you know what i'm saying um i had to give them props for that scene that scene was unbelievably done the shots were perfect the the camera angles were perfect um and that's just me just seeing it is i don't know what it looks like in the manga but all i know that scene was shot and it was done well to the point where i was like this is such an intense in um the um it's a very tense scene you get what i'm saying because gabby thought she found an ally a marlin and she don't even know that the girl she killed is nicolo's like one and only i don't know if they, they they were together together i don't want to say they were together together but they certainly shared something you get what i'm saying maybe nicolo was was in love with her um and it went further than just about the food it could be just about the food and the reaction that you get from from nicolo when he realized that this girl is yo this man did not hesitate to pick up a wine bottle full of wine to hit across a child's face he was not playing you understand me the anger that came over him threw age out the window and when he finally got to calm down is like you know why did i just try to kill a child you know what i mean so that was just nuts on its own down in the the, the cellar or whatever they where they were at and then hanji them came on the scene in the same house they came i'm telling you right now the timing of hanji them being there is perfect because if they weren't there gabby would be dead dead because um what's her name kaya kaya <laughs> would be the new gabby in the series after after that you know and it's just the thing about it is that I hope some of this is sinking in with Gabby. I hope some of it is resonating with her for her to understand that nobody hates you. Because this is not about hate, right? It's not about hate. You're the one that goes around us have this pure hatred, brainwashed hate that you have for these Eldians. Not realizing or this is this, this 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 is the brainwash coonery you get what i'm trying to say it's the brainwash coonery this is black people that hate their the, the color of their skin kind of stuff this is what it is it's the brainwash coonery you get what i'm saying because it's like you don't know better like you don't even realize that you are condemning your own kind, your own race. You're condemning these Eldians, calling them devils, 
you are an alien too. You get what I'm saying? So for her to be like that, it is some serious brainwashing going on, man. But it seems like she's starting to come around, even trying to understand she is, even though she acts all tough and tough and tough, she is scared shitless. She is scared out of her mind. You get what I'm saying? Cause she doesn't understand what is going on. And then after all this, Aaron just casually walks in with his hand already cut. Cause you know, he, you know what I'm saying? He's not playing games. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like any room he walks into, he, he, you know what I'm saying? Any situation that he knows that, you know, stuff might pop off. He's already on point. He's, ready. he's like, listen, man, I don't want to turn into a Titan right now, but you know, if you want this work, you can come get it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So the Jaegerist came by, <laughs> you know, cause they need to know where Zeke is. Now, one of the most important thing that happened during this episode was the reveal of what happened to Connie's village. Um, of, you know, what really happened there with his, his mom and his village and all the people that, you know, it was practically, you know, there were Titans there. Um, the horses were still there and everything. And they were like, it, it's just an, an abnormal situation, you know, for them. And it was revealed that, you know, they've been using Zeke's spinal fu fluid to, um, the effect of it is that it freezes up Eldians, right? When they're exposed to it, it freezes them up. And when he shouts, which is what we saw, I think in the earlier episodes, I think it was like episode two or something like that. He can scream cause he did it when he was still in the plane, in the, in the, in the, um, the bomber or whatever, the carriage, whatever you want to call it. When they dropped all the edit, the, the, all the Titans on the city, he screamed and they all turned into Titans. And I think if I'm not mistaken, is it the same? Is it that village that he got them people from in season three? Cause now I'm thinking about it. Cause we've always wondered how is he able to command them and just have them do whatever he wants to do. We saw that at the beginning of season two, right? And he just can command them. And I think that's a part of it too. Once they, once they, it is spinal fl fluid he, and he, and he turns them into Titans. He can also control them as well. So we're learning more about Zeke's power and what he can do. And, you know, he's like, he had to do it. He couldn't have given away his position. And Levi is like, the only problem I have is that you have no remorse for anything that you're doing. And that's just like, that simple means. And from that line alone, and from what transpired in the entire episode with the whole reveal about Yelena and I was like, Flock and Aaron them already knew about all of this. And it's like, no, they've had conversations, man. They've had conversations. I would not be surprised if Aaron had some sort of conversation with Zeke when he was in, when he was in Marley, because it, it, to me, when you look at the facts of what's going on, right, you have Yelena, right? Which is, she had some sort of private meeting with Aaron, right? To convince him to attack Marley right? Which was a part of Zeke's plan as well, right? So there's so many different pieces to put together throughout this whole thing. And I feel like they have a different objective than everybody else. You get what I'm saying? Than everybody else. And I think they're just on their own plane. It's just that they cannot use the rumbling. If, um, if Aaron and Zeke is not in contact because they need, he needs somebody of Royal blood to use the founding Titan powers. Right. Um, and I was saying before that he could just use Historia, but I think somebody in the comment section had told me that he can't use Historia. Right. Um, because she's not fully Royal blood or something of the, I don't remember exactly what they said said he's not says she's not of full royal blood but zeke is that wouldn't make sense because zeke 
doesn't make sense. Zico is on the same page. He's on the he's he's like the same. Wouldn't his story be more of a full blooded? I don't know what I'm saying. Forget I said any of that. Um, the person said something. I don't remember what it is. I'm not gonna look up the comment right now. But all I'm saying is that it seems like Yelena, Aaron, and Zeke they have their own plans as to what they want to do. I don't know what it is, but it just see it seems that way because all these meetings, a, a punk, a, a young kapunk, whatever his name is, is you know is always saying. It's first time here, he's supposed to be like her right hand man, and he knows nothing. He don't know about the wine being spiked. He don't know about nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like everything is a surprise to him, but he's still rolling though. <laughs> um. Yo, and Flock, don't flinch, bro. Don't flinch, man. Flock is a true Jaegerist in this piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, he a true Jaegerist. He, you know what I'm saying? Like, he's the guy that's just like, yo, Aaron, you want to take a dump on my face? Yeah. Let me lay down for you. <laughs> Anyways. But in any case, guys, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, man, there's so many great moments in this episode. And Mappa is knocking it out of the park, okay? Um, once I finish with this, I'm going to go see what is what happened um, in the manga, of course. Um, hopefully, as I said, it, it's just greatness. It's just greatness. Let's just enjoy the greatness. Can we just enjoy... The greatness of Attack on Titan, man. Can we just do that? I wish the people who are far ahead in the manga, which is almost done, would just enjoy the anime, the animation for what it is, and stop the complaining. Like, what are you complaining about? It's a. It, at the end of the day, it's a, it's just the TV show, man. It's just, it's just anime, okay? It's just medium, something for us to enjoy. Um. No need to get your panties in a bunch. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always, man. Like the video. I love this episode. Leave a comment. And I will catch you guys later, man. It's your boy Terry by Reacts. And I'm out. Peace.